Hey, Sierra, I, I know it's, you know, early still in training camp and everything, but, um, you know, at, at the start of your pro career, what, when you, when you look back at Texas A&M, what have you taken from, you know, playing four years there that's helped you translate your game and, and, you know, become a professional player? Um, I would definitely say um, the way that the market would play in terms of setting a lot of screens and stuff like that, pick and roll action, um, that was a lot of the action that we ran away from. And so I think in a sense that's kind of helped me translate um, my game to, to now. So I think that that part is really helped. Uh, next up, we have Dorothy Gentry with The Athletic. She'll be followed by Mike Lucas. Hi, Sierra. How are you doing? Nice to see you again. Uh, have you had a chance to talk with Aaliyah or India since uh, you all have been drafted? Uh, yes. And what were those conversations like? Um, you know, just keeping each other encouraged, just, you know, figuring out what they've got going on and how everything's going for them. It's basically just to check in, just to make sure we're still good mentally. You know, we're having fun and enjoying our time over here. Talk about the, uh, one more question. Talk about uh, the opportunity to play, you know, on the same team as uh, one of the greatest, of course, you know, with Diana Taurasi. Talk a little bit about her and what you've seen these past couple of days in camp and just, you know, being in her presence, as well as Skylar and some of the other players there, Brittany, and some of the other players. Um, Diana and Skylar have been phenomenal. I mean, they're so positive. Like when some of the, some of us movies will make a mistake, they're like, hey, you know, move on, let it go. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Like, it's just they're very fun to be around and they're always talking and teaching and, you know, making sure that we're on the same page as them. So they've been absolutely phenomenal. I mean, it's, it's been great. I've been able to learn a lot in two days. Next up, we have Mike Lucas, to be followed by Ann Myers Trisdale. How you doing, Sierra? Been a while. Uh, Sierra, as you make this move from a and to the pros, you said at a you were willing to do all the, the little things that Coach Blair needed you to win. And now once you got to the WNBA, you were willing to do whatever it takes to make a roster. So what are some of those little things you think you're doing to help solidify your spot on this Mercury team? Um, I mean, I'm just trying to come out every day um, and learn. And um, really just, you know, just try to do some of those stuff. Talk, rebound, save the screens, finish around the basket when I get the ball, um, play good defense, play solid defense. So my main thing is just to come out. Um, whatever happened yesterday, happened yesterday, move on to today, today's new day. And just get better and just stay focused and just try to remain positive um, throughout the course of my time here. And go. Coach mentioned in her first answer that you kind of stood out there so far throughout the early stages of practice. So how do you kind of keep a, a level head and make sure you don't take anything too, you know, too complimentary and continue to work and do what you have to do to solidify your spot here? Um, Coach Chaz made a great point to me when we were in, in doing individual workouts. She was saying, hey, just stay in the moment. Worry about this position right now. Don't focus on the next position. Don't focus on the last position. Stay in this moment. So if you're setting the screen, set that screen first. Then move on to the next thing. Don't try to – don't focus on what's going to happen next or what's happening later. So focus on the now. And she said, just have that mindset. All right, Coach Chad, if you do have a question, uh, go ahead and hit the raise hand feature. Or if you have a follow-up, you can do that as well. Uh, next up, we have Ann Myers. Hey, Sierra. Welcome to Phoenix. And uh, what has surprised you – coming into camp? Uh, definitely, like, I'm not going to say it was a surprise, but um, it's uh, much harder to do than just thinking about it. I would say, like, the pace of everything. Um, you know, Coach Coach Sandy, she's going through everything, boom, boom, boom. It's like, hey, you got to get it. And whereas in college, it was more so, okay, we walk through the play, walk through it a few times, make sure everybody has it. The second group gets to walk through it. Then it's like, okay, well, we'll run it semi-live. You know, five on zero. Then we'll try it with some defense. So I would definitely say, like the pace of everything, it's like watch what's in front of you. You need to know what's you. Once your your turn, you need to know what you're doing. So I would definitely say the pace of practice and the way everything is moving. Well, and certainly coming from a, a wonderful program that has produced some WNBA players, what has Coach Blair uh, talked to you about preparing you for the next level? Um, so just stick to what you do. Stick to what you know. Don't try to go outside yourself and, you know, continue to do the little things that, I, that I'm that i good at, which is setting screens, talking, 
trying to be a good defender in the post. So he said, don't try to do too much. Don't try to go in there proving to everybody that you belong. He's like, just stay within yourself and, and good things will come. 